Hey, what's up, hog hunters? Welcome back to Single Hook Hogs, keeping you ready and motivated for trout fishing in Pennsylvania and surrounding areas. I'm Corporal Hood. We're up here today, quit at Fahilla Creek. That's right, y'all. We quit Philly. We got something really cool for you today. We're gonna do a little demonstration on how to fish these cast masters. I love these cast master spoons. They catch some husker trout, and it's probably, I would actually say now, hands down, it is my favorite way to fish for trout. These cast masters, the perfect size for creeks and streams. You want to go with a 1 8 ounce, right there it is, 1 8 ounce cast master. Today we're starting off with that gold body and that chartreuse plate, and as you see we got that single hook on there. My recommendation for that is a size 6 Gamagatsu. They hook up, they're sharp, they get right through the lip, and they hold. They don't slip those Gamagatsus as easily as some other hooks. And as you can see, we also have a snap tied to the line for easy interchange, but we did cut that swivel off of the snap, and today we're running that red one, accent a little bit of gill flesh, so we got the red snap, chartreuse, gold, and that red Gamagatsu size six single hook. So the first thing you wanna keep in mind when you're fishing these cast masters is you wanna give yourself a little space. They cast far and don't be afraid to take that hook off and practice in the yard because when you first start fishing these things, it's a whole nother world. But once you get it down, you're gonna fall in love, I promise. So first things first, you wanna give yourself a little space. And they're a spoon, so they're a little different. You don't run them like a rooster tail or a blue fox. You can keep them constantly engaged and constantly moving, but you don't have to worry about engaging the blade on them. They just kind of have like a nice little wobble motion and they flash a little bit. The way I like to fish these, and the way the old guys tell me to fish them, is you cast them out, let them drop, give them a pop, and then reel, let it down, give it a pop, and then reel in that slack. So we're gonna cast out and demonstrate that for you real quick right here. So I'm gonna cast this thing right up there in front of that little log jam. As you can see, I have plenty of open space. I got about 30, 40 yards till that turn. And these things, bullet, they cast amazing. So watch. See right there, cast it up. Now, I'm gonna let it drop. And then reel in my slack, pull up. Reel in my slack, pull up. Reel in my slack, pull up. And just let it pop like that. And just let it pop. Now, that's the way I always start fishing these things. And if that's not working, the next thing I do is I just go to a nice, slow retrieve. So we'll try that nice, slow retrieve right now. And I'll just keep a nice, slow, constant retrieve on it. Keeping my rod tip down so I can set that hook. Ooh, y'all see that? Got that nibble right there. Oh, you don't really want to burn these things because they'll just skip across the top. So next, we're gonna speed it up. We're gonna burn this thing through there and show you guys how it kind of just pops and skips off the water. But that bounce method, that nice slow or medium retrieve, that's how I catch the most fish on these things. And when they hook up, you will know it. And the beautiful part about these cast masters is very, very rarely do the little fish take it. So you're liable to get something nice on the end of your line when you're fishing these spoons. All right, so we're just gonna demonstrate a fast burn with this cast master. Hopefully y'all can see it. But this is what happens, see? When you reel it in too fast, it just skips off the top like that, and you can get some backlash on your reel. So you don't wanna do that. And make sure you got your drag set right, and do not try to yank it off of a snag or something like that. Just give it a nice little pop, because these things will fly back like a bullet. They're a 1 8 ounce solid piece of brass, and if you're pulling on that thing hard and it releases, it's gonna come back in a straight line. I took one to the face about a year and a half ago, put two slits in my face, pools of blood, and it actually chipped my tooth. Be cautious when fishing these things, but a little practice and be patient. And you guys will hook up to some nice fish, so we're gonna go ahead and hit this hole. Fish on, fish on, fish on. There it is, y'all, fish on. Ooh wee, ooh it's, oh, look at that. Beautiful things, beautiful things. That's a husker. Ooh, that's a husker, y'all. Wow. Look at that, look at that. Wow. Wow, look at that, y'all. Look at that, healthy. So 
want to run it right down there in front of that wood pile, that driftwood pile. And we just kind of let this thing drop. Nice slow return. Oh, oh, miss another bite. I'll take it, I'll take it. And then pop it every once in a while. You gotta learn to feel the difference between the bottom and a fish though, because it will hit bottom every once in a while. Fish on, fish on, there it is. Oh, it's another big one. Fish on. Ooh, nice rainbow. Wow. He's coming right to me. Where's he at? Ooh, fish on. A little bit of drag. A little bit of drag. Oh, he's taking some drag. Y'all see that? Beautiful things, y'all. Beautiful things. Beautiful things. Get him in the net. Wow. Oh, he's gonna get into that fast water. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Y'all, <sighs> we doing? Having an amazing day. That cast master got him hooked pretty solid. I don't see, oh, he's got dirt in his mouth. Mouthful of dirt. Look at that, y'all. Nice, beautiful fish. Big female, put her back. Fish on, fish on, there it is. Wow, got him. Wow, nice rainbow. What a husker. Right back in that run. Ooh. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Man. Get it right in the net. Man. Take a little drag, take a little drag. We're gonna get this one in that for you. That's a nice buck. Wow, he took it. Wow, he took it. He's got that bright orange and pink in him. There we go. Ooh wee. Ooh wee, oh, it's a littler one. Caught him right in the fast water. Ah. Wow. There it is, y'all. Nice little buck trout. Put him right back in there. And he's gone. All right, y'all. That's actually a bonus fish because we didn't even have the camera on when we made that cast. We were walking out of here and we wanted to cast it downstream. As you see, you can fish these things downstream, but they work a little better upstream keeping up with them. But if you are fishing them downstream, just nice little pull, let it rest, and a slow retrieve. These cast masters, absolute favorite lure. Absolute favorite lure. Fish on, fish on. Oh, it's a healthy rainbow. Fish on, he hit it right in front of me. Wow, wow. Ooh. In the net, what a husker. Hoo wee, y'all, let's get that hook out. Whoa, he's got plenty of life left. All right, y'all, you saw them cast masters. They work, they catch some healthy fish. I set the net down and get him, get him back in the water so he didn't overheat and he jumped right out of it. We're gonna go ahead fish this hole for a little more, but anyway, thanks again y'all for checking us out. 
Stay motivated, keep it tight. We hope this little tutorial on these cast masters helps. Any questions, comments, please feel free to ask. There's some special things you can do with these, but kind of just want to touch the basics. Once again, stay motivated, keep it tight. Don't forget, 1,000 subscribers, somebody's getting that dragon's egg and a free Chad Pal special. That's right, baby, right there. And we were gonna give away that brook trout handle just because, hey, it's PA. They're the only fish native to PA, but let us know in the comments. You guys wanna do a little vote. You could do brook trout, you could do rainbow trout, or brown trout. Might even be able to get them to do a golden for us, but hey, let us know what you guys think. Stay motivated, keep it tight. Remember, like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell, y'all. Single hook hogs out.